Is there any plans to make this playable on PC, or is this just strictly mobile forever? Uh, are there any? Uh, yeah, this, this the current plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, phone. right? So let's talk about Diablo Immortal. Please, for the love of God, do not play this game. The way it's monetized is predatory, it adds addicting mechanics, it's all about pay to win, it's such a bad game. Even if the gameplay is smooth and even if you are a Diablo fan, just wait for Diablo 4, it should be around the corner, or just play Path of Exile. Please, this game is just not it. And if you continue to support this kind of monetization, predatory practices and everything like that, just let this game die and let us all move on and please just <laughs> ignore everything about this game because let's be honest, Blizzard just fell off like for the last couple years. It's like a former shell of itself. Everything that released recently and release, will release in the future is kind of bad. Like, to be honest, the last thing they released that was good was uh, StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. And that was 2010? That was over 12 years ago, man. 12 years. The thing that released after was Diablo 3 in 2012, which I guess was good, but... Path of Exile came out in 2013, so one year later it kinda got completely obsolete. If you look what you can do in Path of Exile compared to Diablo 3, it's a... Uh, well, <laughs> there's not really a reason to play Diablo 3, is there? Especially, it's free to play PoE as well. Well then, then it released Hearthstone, but that was 2014, which was basically a Magic the Gathering copy, but you just add RNG to a lot of cards, and make it very, very frustrating to actually get the cards in a deck you want. I think back in the day when it came out was decent, but now it kind of fell off. What came after 2015 HOTS? Well, that was just uh, too late to the party. Dota and League already established itself way more than enough. And then the only good release was, uh, I think, uh, Overwatch. That was uh, in 2016. The game... Uh, got super stale and it just doesn't feel good anymore and the roles kind of completely destroy the game and as much as the game quality wise is really good and the characters were very interesting and very popular still to this day uh, it's just no <laughs> nowadays i think all watch is just very boring it doesn't really feel like the old essence that it used to be and then they went on a hiatus for six years. Not a single thing they released six years. Well, besides, of course, expansion and then updates, like World of Warcraft stuff, which also is not really, well, that crazy. Considering how nobody really likes WoW anymore nowadays. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, the updated stuff for Hearts, Hearthstone, etc. But. Yeah, six years of not a single new game released. They did release stuff like remakes and Reforged and stuff like that, but uh, I would not count that as a new game. It's just an old game polished up or polished to the worst, and that's about it. And then 2022, this year, the Grand Slam release. What does Blizzard do? Well, it's Diablo Immortal. A fucking mobile game people don't give a shit about, or shouldn't give a shit about, that is mainly on mobile, and even though they said, oh, we don't have plans to release it on uh, uh, PC or any other platform, they still did just to milk it. And what would you have afterwards, upcoming? There's two things in the pipeline, Diablo 4, which might be decent, but mark my words, it will be pay to win. And then you have Overwatch 2, which is a uh, just Overwatch 1 with a, like a, a patch. They changed like character kits and they changed the lighting on the maps and a little bit of graphics. And to be honest, it, it's just it's just a patch. It's just it, it's just 
Overwatch 1.5. So yeah, uh, if you look at a track record of Blizzard like that, d d just don't, please do not feed into Diablo Mortal. Don't let companies get away with this. Please, just don't vote with your wallet. That's the only thing we can do to preserve this. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys around.